Hey guys, it's Mr. Erdogan here, and this is just an add-on video for my last video to give you guys three more B.A.G. songs to learn. So let's have a look at the first song. The first song is called Eau Claire de la Lune, which I think is French. Anyways, it's not too difficult. We have mostly quarter notes, which are one beat each. We have a couple of half notes, which are two beats each. And we have a dotted half note, which is three beats long. And we have a quarter rest, which is one beat. And if you don't know what a rest is yet, it simply means that you have to be quiet and not play for however long it's telling you to. So in the case of a quarter rest, it just means that for one beat, you don't play. And lastly, we have our repeat sign at the end. Now the repeat sign just means when you play to the end for the first time, you go back to the beginning and play it again a second time, and then stop after the second time. And that's it. And the way we know it's the repeat sign are the two dots there. Those two dots with the double bar line always means it's a repeat sign. If it was just the double bar line without the dots, the song would just end there, similar to down at the end here of our third song. Okay, let's have a listen to the song now. Okay, so at this point you should already know how to play your B, A, and G, so I'm not going to review those. So let's just try playing it, and we'll start by playing it slowly. And now a bit faster. And now at full speed. But this time I'm gonna take away the note names and the fingerings on the right side of the screen so you can eventually start to learn how to play these songs just by reading the music. All right, let's move on to our second song. Our second song is called B.A.G. Hoedown. Now, you might be wondering, what's a hoedown? Well, Google defines a hoedown as a social gathering at which lively folk dancing takes place. So there you go. Thanks, Googs. This one isn't too difficult either. The only thing that might be new for you is the dotted eighth notes and sixteenth notes. To briefly explain how to play them, they're slightly different from normal eighth notes as the first note is stretched out a bit and the second one is shorter. So it's going to be a long and short and long and short kind of feeling. So you're going to hold the first one, the one with the dot, slightly longer and then play the second one quickly. So let's have a listen. Now let's try playing it. And a bit faster. And now let's try it at full speed, but this time we're going to take away the recorder notes and fingerings again. Okay. 
Great, now we're on to our third song called Down by the Station. Again, not too difficult of a song, but something that is tricky, we'll be remembering to rest at the appropriate times. And that will take some practice. Also, this may be the first time you're seeing a half rest, which is this thing here at the end. Remember, the quarter rest looks like this, which is worth one beat. The half rest looks like this, which is worth two beats. So let's listen to see what this song sounds like. Now let's give it a try slowly. And again, a bit faster. And one more time at full speed, and this time I'm going to take away the note names and the fingerings, just like before. Alright, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed learning these three new songs. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a message in the comments below. And as usual, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.